So Dennis, remind me of the time when you say you saw me first at Studio One. Yes, um, like I said, Bob, my brother, he was a mechanic. Yes. And he used to work on Roland Alfonso car. Okay. Right, so we'd pick up Roland Alfonso and take him to Studio One. Yes. And take back the car, repair it, and then go back later on in the evening and pick up Roland. Okay. But one of his, one of his ritual was when we pick him up, we take him to Trenchtown, yes. to Martimus plan a place, yes. and he would tank up, yes. get himself ready for, for studio work. Yes. We take him there, and I can remember seeing you there, also Ken Booth. Okay. Right? Because um, the first time I saw Ken Booth, Ken Booth didn't even record yet. Wow. Right? Is that for word Ken Booth that tune him? You are no good. Yes. You remember that song? Yeah, but, yeah. Right. And, um, I was in the business before I was in the business, yes. if you understand, yes. because I used to move with, with Roland, um, Bobby Yakin. Yes. Because my brother used to work on Bobby Yakin car as well. Never, never. Y yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I'm going to leave you, leave you. Same, same <laughs> yeah. Same yeah. Right. And, um, but I didn't actually speak with Bob at the time. Yes. Right. But because I was more or less um, just listening to music and admiring the artists, them, you know, because. Yeah. I think these people were great people, oh, you know, Talk and I remember now Bob did do a tune name, um, I've got to go back home, mm -hmm. right, and there was an experience with that song, Champion. with me and the sound system, because I was playing in St. Mary one night, and we went to the, 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 the venue, at the dance hall, as it was, and while we was unloading the, 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 the sound system, um, I tell this guy, don't lift up the amplifier, you're alone. Mm -hmm. Let someone help you. He said, no, man, it's all right, man. He said, please, let someone help you, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? And he insists that he's going to lift it up by himself. And he lift up the amplifier and walking into this dance hall and all of a sudden he blow up on the ground. The amplifier drop, right? And we, um, anyway, we finally, we, we get someone to, to actually get it back together later on in the night, mm. right? Yeah. And the tune that was the number one tune for the night was I've got to go back home. Mm -hmm. right, and so. we sing that right through the whole night. Ooh, it's, it's like it couldn't oh. come off of the turntable. Yes. You understand? Champion. And that tune, that tune was an anthem at the time, mm. right? It was a Jamaica anthem. Because the, the lyrics, you know, the lyrics touched the people so yes. much in Jamaica, yes. you know? Can't get no food to eat. Can't get no job. You, you understand all them things? Yes, sir. Coming now that tune, that tune there was, you know, Ooh, you boy. feel it. Giant. You understand? It's not just a dance half. Because you know you have some tunes, yeah. you, you can just dance half of them and, and you know really pay it no mind. But this tune, you have to take a stack. Yes. I've got to go back home. Here's this man wailing. Mm -hmm. I've got to go back home. This couldn't be my home. It must be somewhere else. Every time I walked into Studio One grounds, yes. it was like a small carnival. Yeah. Because over in one corner you had Heptones singing and yes. crowd around them. Yes. And then in the next corner you had... And it Wheelers. was just buzzing. Yes, yes mm -hmm. it was just buzzing with Back vibes. The shoes. Oh gosh, yeah, I tell you, Bob, yeah, serious. Yeah. You know, and every time the studio door would open, you next. Yes. <laughs> and the artists who just went in, came out look, looking so pleased. Yes. Like I said, uh, if there was 13 red for the road, mm. a lot of us might have been criminals. That's true. Yes. That's true. You, yes. You could take mm. a smoke on her, but stop there. Yes. Yeah, man, go in different yes. directions. You might get a chance to express mm -hmm. yourself. Exactly. Yeah. It helped so. us along the way. Yes. Mm. Muchas. Muchas. Yes, sir. So, yes. you know, um, that we can sit. All of us have lived till this time to be able to sit exactly. and talk about it. Talk about it, yeah. in, in, in the best of terms. Yes, sir. Um, uh, um, giving the good a chance to outshine <laughs> the bad. Exactly. Is, is exactly. You, you know, exactly. when um, when Dennis Brown came to Studio One, you know, I was established already. Hmm. You know, Dennis Brown wasn't established yet. You know, he, he, he had just regarded as a song for Derek Arrett. Mm. Yeah, Silhouette. Came, right. Mm. He, no, it wasn't Silhouette. One, one before that. Yeah, I can't remember. Was it Lips of Wine? 
I can't remember what it was, something before it was Silhouette. Um, most of the time now, Dennis Brown now is a man where couldn't really find lunch. Mm. You understand? But like I say, because I was established before him, yes. and I had a few little dollars running mm. around in my pocket, you know. Most of the time, lunch is on me, yes. and you were our lunches now. <laughs> You know the shop across the road? Yes. A yes. Pu- a purity bun. Yes. Piece of cheese. <laughs> right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah? That's our, that's our thing. Oh, you understand? Uh, me and the man arrest and the car arrest and they came more or less at the same time. Mm. Yes. Right? And arrest, come and do a tune here, ma'am. I've got to be sure of a woman's love. Mm. And D Brown did No Man's an Island. Yes. Mm. Right? That was their two launching mm. tune. Mm. You know? And, um, Alton now he used to be look, look, looking for Dennis Brown all the while because Dennis always have a guitar, yeah. mm. you know, at yeah. Trump. Mm. And <laughs> every minute Alton missing guitar, is, is D Brown have it. And oh then sometimes Gator Harris to have a go. Mm. You know, you know the board them on the back. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Sit down on the board them. And, well, you know, the big bad battery there. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> what, what, the right time there was a big blue old van. Right. Wet. Oh boy. Pad, oh. We used to sit down by the van there. Yes. Bob Bad will play his guitar and Peter will play his guitar and anybody just go up and take a verse. Mm. Just sing to whatever, oh, whatever is happening. Serious. Well, you know, I can also um, briefly remember young Jacob Miller yes. yeah. at that time. And I can remember the same shop, the food shop across yes. the road. Yeah. I used to go there too and, and, and get my bun and cheese and all the <laughs> things, man, and um, soft drink. Yeah. And it's amazing because um, uh, young Jacob then used to sort of follow me around, you know. And, um, and I mean, thinking back at it now, at times it makes you, uh, well, actually, when, when, when you think back, it makes you say to yourself, man, Jacob Miller, huh? Imagine that. Who would imagine that? Young Jacob Miller following me around. Yes. Yeah. And you it's, know? It's no longer Just evidence. because, and, and he used to be asking me, how do I have that tone? And all them things, you know? And, mm. Oh, boy, I tell you, life. <laughs>